Namashivai students. Today I will discuss the last topic of chapter number 1, Psychology and Other Discipline. Psychology is an interdisciplinary approach which has a relation with other fields which deals with human beings and anything related to human nature. First we will discuss the relation of psychology with philosophy. We all know that philosophy is the study of soul and psychology originated from philosophy. Earlier, the subject matter of psychology was the concern of the philosophers. Psychology greatly draws from philosophy particularly with respect to the methods of knowing and various domains of nature. Thus, philosophy and psychology are closely linked. Now we will talk the relation of psychology and medicine. The well-being of an individual is not only the physical well-being but mental health is also very important. In case of Ornish experiment, we have seen that how positive thinking of a patient cure half of his diseases of blocked arteries in the heart. Psychologists employed in hospitals prevent people from engaging in health hazardous behavior and help in adhering to the prescribed doctor's advice regarding healthy behavior. They also work in the ICU and deal with patients in post-operative stage to relieve them from their stress and anxiety and to develop their mental health and also make them stronger and fit mentally as well as physically. Now we will discuss the relation of psychology and economics. We all know that the economist deals with the consumers and they predict the growth of anything on the basis of the consumer sentiments. For all these, the economists have to understand the mind, thinking process, interest of the consumer and so on. That means the behavioral pattern of the consumer are the main concern for the economist. For all this, they need the help of psychology or they have to read psychology to deal with this matter. Next, we will discuss about psychology and political science. Political scientists or the political leaders uses psychological approaches like emotions, attention and perceptual processes in understanding issues like exercise of power and authority, nature of political conflicts and voting behavior of an individual. Next, let us discuss the relation of sociology and psychology. We all know that psychology as a social discipline focuses on humans as social beings. It studies the behavior of human beings in socio-cultural context. On the other hand, sociology is the study of a society and humans are a part of this society. So we can say both sociology and psychology together try to understand the socio-cultural basis of behavior of humans mainly their motives, their views towards society, their thought process, etc. And in this respect, they are linked with each other. Now we will discuss the relation of psychology with computer science. In case of cognitive psychology, we have found that mind is like an information processing system, which is more like a computer. Previously, scientists have made computer in mimic to human mind. But nowadays, both computer and psychology work process is similar as both of them deal with the brain and mind of an individual. Next, the relation of psychology with law and criminology. Now, detection of crimes are dealing with criminals have been greatly influenced by psychology. We all know that no person 
is criminal in nature. That means no one is born as a criminal. Circumstances lead a person to be maladaptive and criminal in nature and by the use of psychological knowledge and researches, those persons can be reformed and rehabilitated and made useful organ of the society. That means to motivate themselves to the normal life, we can make a criminal a healthy well-being or a part of our healthy society. Moreover, psychology helps in the detection and such of the crime and suggests preventive measures for the prevention of offences and crimes, mainly the legal psychology deals with this part and they have a relation with criminology. Next, we will discuss about mass communication and psychology. Mass we all means people and communication, communication means to get nearer to the people, to know them, to communicate with them. For all these we have a knowledge of the thinking process, the attitude formation of human beings, then only we can develop a healthy communication with them. Moreover, media has also made a great impact on our lives mainly on children's behavior now we will discuss about music and fine arts with psychology music and psychology are closely related to each other psychologists nowadays started to use music therapy in many of the experiments to cure people even to get rid of stress and negative thoughts of our mind, we often listen to music. Through fine arts, sometimes we try to express our views and thought processes, which play an important role in psychology. Next, relation of psychology with architecture and engineering. Nowadays, the architects and engineers try to read the mind of the people in order to satisfy them through their work. Even, they try to make gadgets and mechanical devices as per the likings and interest of the people. So, we have seen that psychology has an immense relation with different other subjects which deals with the human nature. Now we will discuss the impact of psychology in our everyday life. Psychology has a wide field of application and utility. It is not only a subject that satisfies curiosities of our mind about human nature, but also offers solutions to a variety of problems which may involve political, economic and social reforms. Psychology enables an individual to understand oneself in a balanced and positive way in order to deal with everyday challenges and meet with personal expectation. Therefore, understanding of psychology enables a person to build stronger relationship at community level and improve individual strength. So student, now we have came to the end of our chapter number one. I think you have written all the differences that I discussed till now in all my videos. Now apart from these differences, you have to prepare these following questions by watching the videos and you can also take the help of your book. You have to write these questions and answers in your copy. First one is define psychology and explain the terms mentioned in the definition. That means you have to define the psychology and the terms like mental processes, behavior and experiences. You have to discuss those terms also in detail that I have discussed in the class. Next, what is behavior? Give examples of overt and covert behavior that you will find in the video related to behavior. 
Describe the relationship between the mind and behavior. Define basic and applied psychology. That means you have to write the differences that I have discussed about basic and applied psychology over here as a form of definition. Critically examine the status of psychology as a science. Here you have to write psychology as a social science, psychology as a natural science, all those points. And last one is what is the main theme of psychoanalysis? That means you have to write the main theme of psychoanalysis means the psychoanalysis deals with the unconscious desires and conflicts of which we are not aware at present. That means they are mainly discussed with the unconscious mind. This answers you have to write in your copy. So students prepare all these answers till then Namashivai.